Hello, many thanks for joining me for another Somerset Real Air review. Probably shouldn't re be reviewing really at the moment because I've, I've had three, three beers tonight. This is my fourth, so uh, but I ain't working tomorrow, so sod it. Um, it's from the Wadworth Brewery. It's their old timer, 5.8% ABV, bottle conditioned, um, brown 500 ml bottle. Um, I've been very disappointed with the Wadworth Brewery lately, but. Um, Let's give it a go anyway and see what happens. Uh, apologies in advance for the lighting in this video. It may be a little bit poor. Uh, it's getting dark now. Anyway, go on, a tight crown on there, plain gold one. Let's fire it in the glass. Um, yeah, I've just had some bad beers from them lately. They just really, I paid a lot of money for their beer kitchen range and it really wasn't very good. So I've been quite disappointed. Um, that is um, coppery in colour, dark copper in colour to amber. Mm, little bit of carbonation in there. One finger, creamy newspaper coloured head. Lacing seems reasonable. Let's get the nose in. Ooh. Smells very good. Um, slightly spicy. Sweet malty. Once again, it's one of those beers that smells like a brewery. Yeah, spicy and sweet malty. Slight bit of citrus in there, but nothing massive. It's a strong, this is a strong, uh, a classic strong, strong ale, handmade in Devizes, which is where they're from. Let's get a taste on it then. Cheers, everyone. Oh, whoa, aniseed. Oh, aniseed, really ripe orange spice incredibly sweet it's actually quite a good beer but not the rest in there um, I don't think I deserve disturb the sediment too much in this one um, although don't know whether you're going to catch it, but there's hardly anything in there. Walworth Old Timer. Um, popular with discerning beer drinkers for over 40 years, this classic strong ale remains true to its original recipe. Deep chestnut in colour. Well, yeah, I suppose it is. Um, with a strong nutty aroma and a smooth, robust finish. <coughs> Pardon me. This beer may throw a sediment. Um, that's about it. Um, www.wobworth.co.uk Best before the 2nd of May 2012. Well, it's now the uh, 8th of July 2012, so it's a month over, but with a bottle condition beer, you can age it and uh, it, it won't go off. They just it adds more flavour to the beer. Um, well, as you can see, the sediment. Well, there isn't any. It's, it's still pretty clear. It's, uh, it's 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 got a bit of cloudiness to it, but nothing massive. Oh, actually, I'm actually really enjoying this. Well, that's um, it's not it's not massively sessionable. I think I, I I'd have a few milder beers first, and then um, perhaps a couple of these afterwards. But that is a really drinkable beer. Well, I've got one more beer from Wadworth to um, review, but I don't think um, uh, I'll be buying any more simply because I've had more bad beers from them than good ones. But that is actually a good one. Um, I think, yeah, I'm getting a sort of nice dry nuttiness there's an aftertaste to that beer. I know I've read it on the bottle, but I think it said um, 
smooth robust finish and that's the aroma not really getting the nuts on the aroma maybe slightly because I've read it but it's mainly just the sweet malts <clears throat> and that sort of orangey yeah maybe maybe we'll let the hand over it you can get the nuts on it but that's, that's actually a quite good beer I do apologize I am slurring a bit I've had a few tonight I drink that again I would drink that again I'd like to have it on cask um, I think that's going to have to get for a strong ale, a strong bitter. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to give that a seven and a half out of ten. It's, it's, it is actually really nice, and it's sort of, you know, that with that and the six X, which is a very good beer, and the swordfish, I think I liked, and also the George and the Dragon was a good beer. Um, I think yeah, no, they're, they're not a bad brewery on cask. They are good because I've had them on cask, and they are enjoyable. But uh, I think they're bottling it. They've got bottling issues. <coughs> Pardon me. But yeah, so um, yeah, seven out of ten for that. That's the um, Wadworth Old Timer. I think I paid about two pound twenty for that, or two pound fifty for that. So I'm glad it's I'm glad it's a good beer. Thanks ever so much for watching. Love to see your comments in the comments box, and I'll always reply to them. And um, I hope you join me again soon on another not so drunk review. Cheers!